Hey guys and welcome to another test server video. I really wanted to get that video of the German changes on going uphill up on the channel but it took a little longer because I didn't really know anyone with the Tiger 2 or an E75 so I couldn't really get people into the game and test it with me. So that one will wait until tomorrow. But instead we have the A43 and the A44 which are actually quite interesting because this tank is quite mobile actually and the gun with 125 penetration and 115 damage is actually quite okay as we just saw there it penetrated the 112 which is the new premium tank the 113 is the tier 10 Chinese one, so 112 is the tier 8 premium, just so you know. Now I know too. We see two Super Pershings. The test servers right now are flooded by Super Pershings, T34-3s and IS-6s and T12s as well. Because uh, three of them, the Super Pershing, the T34-3 and the 112, is uh, a reward for just completing one win then you get them so we're seeing a lot of super pershings and it's good because then you get to test these new guns on them and you get to feel if you have an easy time with them uh, you don't really penetrate them that easily if you're very close you can easily aim for some of the new weak spots on the super pershing which are just easy to hit it's so easy. Like the first test that I did on the Super Pershing, it was penetrated by a Tiger P. And that's just ridiculous. Um, the second shot also penetrated on the lower plate. It's just whack. Uh, but as we see here in the video, the gun depression on this tank and this gun is just crazy. You have to expose yourself a lot or be lucky enough to have enemies sitting like this. Uh, for you to be able to hit them because this gun depression you will curse about this gun depression It's not the usual USSR gun depression. This is USSR hell depression uh, uh, It's so insane and you'll see that in the next game as well on the a44 Where I look at the gun depression from several angles and I try to turn the turret and look even further down But it's just not happening uh, enemies almost on every single side of me and I decided to go for the T20 or E25 here. I mix it up with the T25 which is a tier 5 premium and Behemoth finishes off that E25 there and then the Super Pershing is pushing up here. Where the Super Pershing went that's actually a quite good spot if the enemies are only on the east side of this map. But I get killed there by a premium tank sitting down there in the left west or left south south west. Can I speak today? No, I don't think I can. Good job, Christian. Good job. Here we see the A44. Now this tank is where it begins to become special. Because the turret is now moved backwards. As you can see, the speed is still quite good. It's quite good. Uh, I6 here closing the gap for me. Yep. Good job there. He actually went straight before, but then turned a little left. I really like people doing that. I really do. Just firing a little shot there to say, get some frustration out, and then it's forgotten. And then I start looking at the gun depression because there is none. There is none. And 60 kilometers an hour, does that justify no gun depression whatsoever? Um. I think it's 167 penetration and 300 damage. Yes. Yes. That must be it. Because my memory never fails me. As you know. <clears throat> but uh, we are going north here. Oh, I just got nearly shot there. And an FCM 50 ton shows up over there. We can snapshots and try to hit it. But nope. And I get a good shot on him. 317 damage there, and Behemoth doesn't. Uh, the rate of fire, decent on this tank. Um, I hit the tracks and track him. 
And yeah, the 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 but the damage is good, and the reload speed is also fairly decent. As we can see, the tank uh, can turn its turret all the way around. So it's basically an A43, just with the turret moved backwards. It's very mobile, just like the A43, but the turret is at the back. But as a medium tank, you can't really side scrape like heavy tanks can you can attempt it and um, against other medium tanks of course you can of course you can side scrape against those but against heavy tanks I don't think so I haven't attempted it because I'm not insane enough but it should be tested actually because this is a tank which you really want to know how to play before you get into it because if you can side scrape with it fine then you can get to locations where you can do that I test out the gun here on the heavy premium tank there. Behemoth tracks the other medium premium and he says he, he can't look down. And, I'm, and I say, excellent, and go up there and take the kill. As you can see here, there's an Indian Panzer sitting on the other side there. He is going to push up a little bit later, but for now, I'm just looking and waiting for something to happen. But nothing does, so I decide to move a little bit because a super pushing is out here. I haven't seen him yet, but he just got spotted there. And I move forward, but then I remember that half of my tank is showing. So I get back into a much better position. You'll be able to show a lot less of your tank while aiming uh, and showing yourself. As you can see there, I only showed like, I don't know, a fourth of the tank again here yep not showing very much of the tank going for some weak spots on the super pushing the first one just got absorbed so um yeah by the way did you know that the uh, we hit them hard message is being taken out of the 8.8 .8 update oh a very nice shot there 254 only that was very low but yeah that message is being taken out because i don't know but I like it because when you do critical damage on a super pushing, you don't want to hear, we've hit them hard, because you didn't. You didn't. Here we see a, um, a premium tank coming up, and he bounced on my side. So you can side scrape against that type of penetration. And I just took a shot there at his front just to check. I didn't go through, but this shot did, and then he kills me. So you will be able to penetrate the new premium medium. But yeah, that was the A43 and A44.